and getting into our weather. We're going to talk about our local weather really quickly and then we'll dive back into the tropics because I know you're concerned about that. This is the time of year where we're always watching the tropics with that little nervous kind of feel. Is it coming here? We don't know. Is it going to develop? But in this case, thankfully at this point, it doesn't look like that thing uh, that's really just kind of a swirl of low pressure right now, not a developed system, but it doesn't look like we'll see a lot from it. But again, more details coming up in just a second. First, our local weather at this point, hot, humid, spotty storms. That's been the forecast and that still is the forecast. Current temperatures in the lower 90s at this point feels like temperature up to almost 105, but most of us staying in the kind of, I guess you could call it more reasonable range for heat indices, but it feels really hot out there. At least we're not though at the heat advisory or uh, really the excessive heat warning kind of range where it's feeling like 110 to 115 but still feeling hot, of course. Live radar showing how quiet things are for most spots. However, we're starting to see a little flare up of some activity, especially outside of our area on the other side of Mississippi and near the coast over to Alabama. And just kind of the biggest thing we're seeing right now, not for New Orleans, although there's a chance for a spotty storm there too later, but around Lutcher, Convent, Chack Bay, a little bit of spotty rain there outside of Laplace and Des Almonds, some very small showers getting going. This is the time of day where we see the showers and storms popping up and then falling down as we get past those hot afternoon hours and head towards sunset. This is our high pressure and this has been the main feature this week. Really not super exciting. It's just kind of holding our rain chances a little bit below where they would be if we had say a storm system moving in or something like that. Just kind of the more diurnally driven or daytime heating driven spotty showers and storms and the high also keeps things nice and hot and steamy. So. Today we'll say the high probably getting to a couple of degrees at least higher than we are now. And just looking at our high resolution model, 2 p.m. spotty rain here and there, 3 and 4 you can see it's out there too, but not all of us will see the downpours. And then this is by 6 and 7 o'clock, everything kind of calming down. Now we'll get into the tropics and again we're using this very wordy sort of name that we have now in the past few years. This has been unrolled by the National Hurricane Center to describe a system as I said that's not developed yet but will develop soon and it allows them to kind of get the warnings out for areas like Puerto Rico and on toward Española uh, where they are going to be looking for some tropical storm warnings and watches uh, because it does look like they might have tropical storm conditions coming in the next couple of days. However, as I was pointing out, if it moves over land, also encounters some dry air that is out there, especially over the other side of the Caribbean Sea. And you can see that it might get knocked down if it does become tropical storm Fred later today possibly back to a depression before it moves out into these warm waters of the southeastern Gulf and then takes its turn off to the north. And there's pretty good consensus you can see with the models for that to be the case. Still a bit of uncertainty. It hasn't fully developed or formed yet, but we're going to be continuing to track it at this point, though. It looks like it will be moving to the north and this would be the setup. We have a big high that it's kind of uh, riding under right now off to the west northwest and at the moment and heading into this weekend. This is Saturday. I have started our model here. A big high will be off to the northwest of Louisiana and it may kind of scoot between these and kind of ride around this big high. So that's why we're expecting the turn to the north and eventually the recurving off off to the northeast. As we look at our rain forecast, by the way, assuming it takes that path, which it looks like it will right now, notice that there's a lot more rain expected over for Florida. Maybe you can see in the reds up to three, four plus inches of rain. Of course, details on that will have to be ironed out soon. But for us, the greens and blues, that's very typical for what we see with the afternoon storms. That's up to about an inch or so of rain. And this is our rain forecast for the next seven days. So not to say that these things couldn't change a little bit, but at this point, we're just expecting it to take that path farther to the east of South Louisiana. Here's our model, the European. I just wanted to show you an idea. Take it with a grain of salt. These will change a little bit, but notice that the European model keeps it on the somewhat weaker side. Again, not fully developing it into a strong hurricane or anything like that. This will probably be a depression or tropical storm situation. We'll see, but that's how it looks right now. And then this is the GFS model, just to give you another um, indication of what it is showing. Just the latest run is kind of bringing it really close to maybe Panama City. Again, the exact landfall will likely change, but this is how it's looking right now. We're watching everything really closely. We're almost at mid-August, so we know we're going to be watching the tropics very closely. We will keep you updated for sure, but at this point, you can see the very steady, very typical summer forecast for our area continues through the weekend and into early next week, too. All right, thanks, Alexander.